cleared the water. Woohoo! Hey, good morning from Texas here. Um, I wanted to know if we caught any hogs last night. So I thought, oh, I'll be smart and just fly over here, you know, since we're so rich and we got private helicopters and jet airplanes, right? <laughs> or maybe we don't. But we do have a drone. Uh, <laughs> and it's it's a it's a long ways to fly my drone over here um but i've flown it even further than this before i don't know what it was though i got it all the way almost to the trap almost could see the trap and i lost signal but thank god the way that dji made those things it returned its butt home to me because i was thinking well there went my drone so we had to get on the four-wheeler and do a little ride over here to see. So, let's find out what happened. Oh man, we drove over here. Did we have any luck? No. <laughs> no luck again. I think the hogs are scared. Yeah, the, the trap was still set. At least this time the door wasn't slammed shut. And we saw signs that a raccoon had been in there and left a little nice oblong gift in the middle of the pen. <laughs> um. And I had to repair the deer feeder the other day a wire was burning to on the negative side which tells me that maybe that thing took a lightning strike and burnt that wire in two because it burned it like four or five inches long on the negative if it had that wire had shorted inside of there to the chassis of that thing i could see the positive burning up but not the negative only thing i can think like I say is a lightning strike but i put the wire back together and it's working and i see that it spit out corn last night, so that's fixed. But Mel and I, we had some anticipation that if we didn't get a hog today, we had plan B. What's our plan B? Our plan B is to go fishing. Yep. We got some earthworms. We have a live baits. Yep. Earthworms. We got us some earthworms right there out of the yard. Yesterday when we drove by this pond here and we made the little small um, minnows stir up in this weeds on the side i saw a big old bass come up and just <laughs> so i want to see if i can trick his butt or is he gonna trick me <laughs> yeah hey. i wonder if he likes worms i don't think so you don't think so well let's yeah. find out So we decided to transfer to a different pond. There was a lot of little fish just eating or worm up real fast off of our hook before we could catch its daddy or granddaddy. So as we're driving away from this pond, we saw again where the hogs have been rooting around at some point. I don't know exactly when. I think before this last rain. That's what all these bald spots are underneath this tree. They're probably looking for grubs. And that's the same thing males digging around for right now. I think the hogs beat her to them because if we can find those little white grubs they are great fish bait that joker in boy males got her a fish but we got to get it through the weeds can you keep pulling yeah. back walk backwards with it what she get here a young catfish Yep, young little catfish. I had to help her because all these weeds here, you'll lose it. Yep, nice color to it too. It's yep. Male or yep, right there. She done grabbed her up one. I mean, she hadn't even had this. We just pulled up to this pond and she didn't even have it in the water 20 seconds. Another one of our ponds here. 
So, on our way over here to this pond, we met my cousin on the road, and we had a little laugh with him, but look what him and his friend with him shared to us. A fresh bucket of plums. Look at that. A whole bucket full of them. We have plum trees right here where I'm at, but ours didn't make this year. What, Mel, you got another one going? Oh, let's see what Mel got here. Yeah, she, she got her little baby here. I wish I had something to keep him in, put him over on another pond we have. The, these are very tasty little fish. A little small right now though, but she's also kind of small. Like me, small but hot. <laughs> So, going back over here, talking about these plums, after I got the minnow off her hook, he's going to come by later, pick up his bucket, and Mel's giving him radishes. He likes radishes, and we're happy to have these plums. So, it's going to be a trade right there. Well, Mel's after another worm. Another worm. Me, I'm busy, busy videoing, and not paying attention, I already watched mine go under twice. Let's get back to this. I think the small ones are eating my worm off. Hoping a big old hog will come along and drive them away. Oh, I got another one. Woo, he cleared the water. Oh yeah, y'all are missing this. I can't adjust the camera down. Y'all gonna have to take my word for what's about to be in front of your eyes. Look at that. Look at that. Nice dog. Let me get my hands on this joker. And then I'll give you a good look see of him. All right, I got that hook out. Let me lay him out where you can see him here. Boy, look at that one. Nice. There's a good one there. Pretty cat, look at that. So, I'm beating Mo. I know she hates it, cause I'm kicking her butt. Beautiful. What y'all think about that out there? You like that? So tell us what's your favorite way to cook a catfish? Y'all like to broil them, bake them, fillet them, cut it up in chunks and deep fry it? What's your favorite way? Tell us about it. Tell him about it. Say, what is your favorite way? Here, ask him, what is your favorite way to eat me? Let me get this joker here on the... So while I'm reeling in this big old bad fish here, ha, 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 Mel found a mulberry tree over here. And I know they're not purple yet, but they're not gonna turn purple, this particular top. Yeah, it's a different type. You think that they're gonna be bitter, but they're not. Put oh one of those nice suckers in my mouth again. Oh my goodness, they so sweet man. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. oh man they're so sweet yeah, they're a bunch over there super sweet she's having to feed me because my hands mm. Mm. sweet i love it mm, mm, mm. oh my gosh this is living off the land right here this is living off the land mm. 
delicious to see those again. Yeah, just only left. But look at there over there. Yeah. It's full. That tree is full. Of but we're gonna have a nice harvest day. We got plums, mulberries that she's gonna go pick more to take with us, and we got some nice fish here. That's called living off the land right there. Living off the land. And what did we spend to catch these fish? Did we go to the store and buy bait? Nope. Did we go to the store and buy artificial lures and worms? Nope. We laid a piece of plastic on the ground, let the earthworms rise underneath it, flip it up, grab them up. Simple as that. No money involved. I want to say hello to Glorious Goats. This is Glorious Goats here next door. Well, hello there. Hello. Y'all not shy for the camera, are you? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you're wishing you could reach higher up this tree and get some of those nice, tasty mulberries. How about I share some? Huh? Here. You want that? You want that? Here you go. There you go. Let's be fair. I see some more. I, let's be fair. Fair and share. There you go. Coffee cup that I had, and she's filling it up with these mulberries. These are uh, like a white mulberry. Yeah, it's a white one. Um, I'm used to purple mulberries. But man, they are delicious. They are so sweet. And this tree is just covered with them up here. She got a bunker amount of them. We can freeze them. Use them throughout the rest of the summer and in the fall. Yep, you can make like a jam. She can make jams and stuff out of it too. Which myself, I'm trying to stay away from those things because I have... Belly. The belly. So believe it or not, I don't eat much sugar. Stress. That's the stress, baby. I was talking about climbing in the trees where, you know, we love to climb in the trees. Yes, she loves to climb in the trees. It's natural. She has a feet and a tail just for it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, we got to get back on that four-wheeler over there and yeah. head back to the house. We got fish to clean. Go, But before we go, I wanted to share, look here, our figs are making. Well, looking forward to that too. Looking forward to that. Living off the land. That's what we love. Living off the land. Do you think there might be laws against driving on the highway with these fish? <laughs> Hope not. Should we mark fish on the four-wheeler? Hey, so we're back home. I just want to share again the bounty of today already. Look at this eggs we have nice mulberries and even though they don't look like they're ripe they are they are so sweet quail eggs look at this a big old bucket of sweet plums radishes that we're going to trade these radishes off on these plums and of course we have fish outside what a wonderful morning Mel and I've had harvesting off the land living off the land it's a blessed life a simple life is a blessed life this is what happens if mice get in your house or the moss i think the moss in the garden have ate her clothes <laughs> you have to go out for a while and uh, spend time for my sister and friends all right babe we'll have a good time out you look cute see you later adios amigas